American competition, the World Cup Tour. He's among an elite 44 who battle nine months in eight countries for the World Championship. Taj qualified for the World Tour when he was 15 years old. He decided to finish high school instead. He became Rookie of the Year, and the following season was runner-up for the World Championship. Oh, I think the future of the sport, the next step in surfing's evolution. He's a national hero, but definitely low maintenance. His posse consists of a dog named Reef. Maybe this is normal for an Aussie phenom named after an American blues singer with a one mutt posse from Yalanga. This is just perfect because uh, it's, it's, it's really quiet and uh, the waves are really good and it's not so crowded and it's just, it's just a lot a little more relaxing lifestyle than just packing your bag. Both surf, so it was pretty much inevitable. I'd... Taj makes everything look easy, maybe too easy. The best surfer doesn't always win. Pro Tour has just gotten better and better. They are um, addressing more of the creative approach to surfing a wave, which is great because Taj is quite creative. Creativity is one of the most magical things about surfing and also one of the most difficult to judge. It's going to take a long time for us to really catch up to speed with, with Taj's level. It's going to take a while for the judges to comprehend what he's doing because he is truly somebody that, that doesn't really compare to anybody else as far as how many maneuvers he currently packs in a wave, how innovative he is when he launches airs. Taj, by any measure, is a great success. At 23, he's already been inducted into Australia's Surfing Hall of Fame. Still, without the world title, he's not satisfied. The expectation of becoming the next Kelly Slater has turned that little monkey on his back into a 500-pound gorilla. You want to compare Taj and Kelly, there's only one huge difference. Kelly's won six world titles and Taj has won none. <laughs> to compare great surfers is like comparing artists. Who's to say which one's more aesthetically pleasing? The cut and dry has no place in liquid.